another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is another in the series of Photoshop 101, which goes over the basics of working in Photoshop. This tutorial is going to cover how layers work. Like I mentioned in the previous tutorial, two of the most important things to understand when working in Photoshop are the layers and histogram. So right now, you can see I just have the background layer. The layers are shown in the Layers tab. If you don't see them, you can go up to Window and click Layers. When working in Photoshop, it's a good idea not to work on the background so you can keep a, an original copy of the image. So I often press Ctrl J to duplicate the background layer and now you see I have two layers. And now I'm going to add two more layers on top of that. Actually, let's make it three. And now you can see that they're blank because they have this checkerbox pattern on them. And so the way layers work is they're basically sheets of plastic stacked on top of each other. So right now I have three sheets of see-through plastic on top of this here sheet, which is would act more like a piece of paper or a photo on top of another photo. And this one isn't see-through, so you can't see that bottom layer right now. If I were to paint this bottom layer black, it doesn't look like anything happened, but if you look on the thumbnail, these little thumbnails show what the that layer holds it is totally black. If I were to hide this layer by pressing the I button, you can see that I painted the background black. But if I click on the above layer, this layer, since it covers the whole image, it covers up the black background. The layer that you're editing on is, and the one that is selected is blue. You just click it and it'll select it. So if I paint on layer two, for example, now, and I'll just pick some red color, and then layer 3, I'll paint some yellow color. And layer 4, I'll paint some white. So right now, if I grab my red layer, and you can drag these around to reposition them, if I put it on top, red comes to the top, because these layers are just a stack of plastic, and what's on top shows first. If I were to bring my photo to the top, then I would hide all these other three layers below it. If you have a layer you don't want anymore, you can grab it and drop them in the garbage bin there. So that's a simple introduction to how layers work and moving them around. To check out more uses of layers and editing photos, check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.